Oh, honey. <laughs> Sunday marble cages. It's Steve and Laura time. Let's go. Come on. Let it. We got some real stuff to talk well, about. This is Steve's favorite cake, too. Oh. Tucky likes it with a nice slice of spam on top. Mm -mm. No, wait a minute. No, get, you need some Maylock, Gas X, Tums. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Steve got a strong stomach for all that. You really miss him, don't you? Or it's been mm -hmm. six months. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I miss him as much. Mm -hmm. It's like a piece of me going. Oh, no, we got to pause it right there. See, so this is the smoothness of Laura. Laura says, like, big things so smoothly. Did you hear what she just said? It's like a piece of me gone. You know, in a strange sort of way, mm -hmm. I think I just might miss Urkel. Look at little baby Laura. So this is what I'm, I'm just trying to show you just from the very beginning. Okay, okay. <laughs> Forget I said that. <laughs> quit front, baby Lord. Quit front. Then you start buzzing around Susie mm. for a second. I actually almost missed your obnoxious grading presence. So we're just we're just going over. I keep trying to tell y'all that their history is rich, okay? It's balling. Um, but just just to show again, you know, what you're seeing from Lord, this is the second time she she is admitting when he's not around, she misses him. Just point it out. You missed me for a second. Oh, thank you all enough to give me hope. Oh, I really is. You are. <laughs> Go, Go home, Steve. Steve. <laughs> yes. mm. You're fine. Oh, come on. Something's wrong. What is it? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you, I'm Rachel. It's too weird and twisted and sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss Steve Urkel. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, you need professional help. Mm -mm. So we just got to go back. I'm so tired of people saying the Lord needs. But what, this is like a running joke that she needs professional help because she's missing or she likes Steve Urkel. But just showing again, just all these times that Laura has admitted that she's missed Steve and what it is that she's missing is that soul connection. See, I told oh, you. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. Well, let's just think this thing through. Okay, now, you convinced Steve to forget about you mm -hmm. and concentrate on Myra, right? Right. And that was two weeks ago. And I haven't seen him since. So? Why aren't you thrilled? Mm -hmm. I was at first, but then, starting a couple of days ago, I actually started to miss him. Mm-hmm. My wife's name. Well, I kind of like having you back. I actually sort of kind of missed you. Uh -huh. I miss him as much. Mm. It's like a piece of me going on. Mm. Lori, you sound like a woman in love. A woman in love. Mm -hmm. He's coming home tomorrow for a couple days before the lunch. Go down to the poker hall and dance the night away. Oh, you better go, Laura. Now you sound like a woman who's lost her mind. Oh, we, we, we had to, I told y'all, we just always got to go back. You know what I'm saying? Again, this could be in, 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 in real life. If you don't know your history, how do you know your future? Okay, um, but you saw all these little instances where Laura is admitting that she that she misses Steve. And what, you know, I don't think people realize is what Laura was really missing was the soul connection. When Steve is not around, she feels it. He's going to be here at nine. Relax, Laura. It's only ten after. Oh, gosh. God, I thought it was only five after. <laughs> Calm down, Laura. She missed her man, huh? Hi, Laura. Hey, <laughs> Steve. Steve. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Laura. Standard issue. Uh huh. I'm not talking about the outfit. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back. I love that. I love seeing Laura flirt with Steve. I'm not talking about the outfit. Oh uh, Laura. Uh huh. Look, all guards, woe blocks are down, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking good. Uh. That's what six months of astronaut training will do for a guy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, so what's it like in Houston? No, oh, I'm a little hot. Human. Why are you too many? Jimmy, why are you too many gentlemen? Oh, okay. Uh, Randy, <laughs> I haven't seen Steve in six months. Wait a minute. Wait, did y'all see how Lord, <laughs> you see how she gently, <laughs> she gently tapped him? Oh, God. Uh, Just look. Randy, <laughs> look how she I tapped him. I haven't seen Steve in six months. Yeah, you're in the way. I know. No, 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 no. You're in the way. You're in the way. Three is a crowd call. Get the hint. <laughs> nope, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't get the hint. The first guys I trained with, well, they, they left after a month. Mm. The second two guys, they put in for early retiring. Mm. Kind of odd for fellas in their 20s. <laughs> so I'm going up with the last guys left. 
Colonel Mitch Parker and Major Allen Heath. Look, Laura's like, okay, I can't, I can't get through to my daddy, so I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut the corner over to you. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so tell me about your mission. He goes up. He comes down. <laughs> In layman's terms, right? I mean, that's that's the main part you need to know is he comes up and he comes out. Right. Right. <laughs> the end. I was just about to tell Carl. <laughs> Houston, we have a mission. <laughs> right, right. He'll never apologize for kissing me. Yeah, don't you don't need to apologize for giving me the lashes. Right, Steve. That's smart. Here, let me wipe off your seat. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> it's fine, Steve. Uh -huh. Isn't this so adorable? He's like, he you can tell Steve is nervous. This is so adorable because they've known each other since six years old, but you can tell that they're in a whole new that look, they in a whole new world. They got all the feelings and emotions and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Oh, really? Of course. <laughs> First student in space? Uh-huh. You're only 21 years old and you're making history. Mm-hmm. And to think a year ago, I couldn't get a job at Taco Bell. Right. I know, Steve. They do you like that. They do you like that. Oh, oh look at Laura. Well, well, Laura, what's the matter? Uh-huh. I don't know. I was just thinking. It took me 15 years to realize how important you are to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I could lose you. We got to stop it. Okay, once again, Laura is on her deep talk, but she's smooth with it. What did she just say? It took me 15 years to recognize how much you mean to me. Okay, you do understand that she's not meaning friendship. She's not meaning, you know, oh, the, the essence of Steve. She's talking about in this capacity. What Laura is basically saying is she's felt this way for a very long time. She just didn't recognize it. She didn't recognize. It. I hope people are getting that. She on her confessions right now. I know. I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. it took me 15 years to realize how important you are to me. Mm. <laughs> now I could lose you. No. Mm. Ain't gonna happen. Um, Steve, I want you to promise me something. Anything. I want you to promise me that no matter what. Mm. You'll find a way to come back to me. Mm -hmm. But look, y'all. Oh, <laughs> Laura makes me want to cry. But what I, I want to just point out, what are we seeing from Laura right now? You know what I'm saying? We're seeing she's in a situation that she ran away from for so long, right? This level of, you know, um, vulnerability. Laura's very vulnerable right now. I told you, Steve got all of her heart. Right. So she's very vulnerable right now, you know, which is what she ran away from. You know, this level of love that she ran away from, this level of intimacy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking on the physical, but just this closeness, this warmth, all this. This is what she ran away from. No, nope. ain't going to happen. Not going to, Steve's not going to let it happen, Lord. Steve, I want you to promise me something. Oh. Like anything. I want you to promise me that no matter what, oh. You'll find a way to come back to me. <laughs> oh, gosh, Lola, how you doing? I promise, Farley. There's a lot of promising going on. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Don't fall for the counterfeit. Wait for the real. <sighs> Will the real law please stand up? Huh? The girl was on standing. I'm standing, okay? You know, but one thing I just wanted to point out, first of all, just to you know, uh, I don't know, just to point out, y'all. I just love it, this. I just love it, Stephen Lord. But, you know, look at this, this moment here, right? And understand that Laura created that. You know, she, she, you know, Steve was talking to Carl, wasn't understanding his woman wanted some time, you know what I'm saying? And what did she do? She takes him outside underneath the stars. And this is what I mean when I keep saying, the Laura is the romantic one. Steve is the, you know, the one that has a pet names and is affectionate. But Laura is more romantic. And why that's important is because it's some of the reason why they didn't get together sooner. Because Steve did not hit Laura's, uh, if you say, kind of romantic buttons until they... You, you, I tried to tell y'all when even when he was on the woo-woo-woo, you know, when she was on the woo-woo juice... 
Laura was going to remember that kiss, right? And so that's where all of this actually started from. Laura didn't, uh, up until those moments with the, on the woo, 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 but then, you know, and that's what caused the dream date, you know, where she kissed him at the prom and then it goes on and on and on, right? And, and so that it's, it's, it's important because it's, I think it's really why it, it took them this long to get there because Laura, it, it took her a while for the physical attraction to, uh, to catch up with her heart. And the reason why I'm saying that is remember what Laura said, that it took me 15 years to realize how much you mean to me. Laura's basically saying that she's been in love with Steve for a very long time, you know, but it just took a while for her, the physical aspect of a relationship to get there, you know? And so it's just, it's just such a, you know, a beautiful moment. But what happened? You saw adversity once again bring them even closer, right? So now Steve's gone for six months and Laura is like, remember, and remember this, what did Laura tell Steve, you know, in order for him to, when he was getting ready to dip, dip out, you know, give it a peace sign to Russia. She said, I can't imagine my life without you. What happened in this situation? She had, she didn't only get to imagine it. She had to, you know, experience it. So Laura, the one thing that she told Steve, besides I want to love you, I love you and I want to marry you, has kind of creeped up to where now she had to go six months without, She let, you know, that's so she gave her little dad a little tip of, you know, daddy, 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 daddy. I haven't seen my man in six months. You need to move out the way. Okay. You know, but that, that, that's the thing too. Steve and Laura, whether they were friends and Laura act like half the time she wouldn't, didn't want to be bothered with them or they're engaged to be married, you still get these same vibes, these warm vibes. And that's why I've been trying to tell y'all that Steve and Laura are more alike internally than they are different. Steve and Laura are soulmates. They're soulmates. I was reading this book by Darius Daniels called Relational Intelligence, Soul Connections, but it says, Soul Connections give us more than just company. Soul connections enable us to produce things and to be productive in ways we would not be if we had not got together or come together. The best relationships are the ones where the people involved want to be and where if one party is away, the other feels like they are operating at some degree of a deficit when they are separated from each other. That's what Laura said. I feels like a piece of me is gone, you know, but, and this is also why Myra was never able to get in there. You can't, it's, it, you, it's a soul connection, you know, and Myra, all she was, was maybe a connection. Um, and like it says that soul connections give us more than company. If you always look at Stephen Lore, they've always looked like they were more than just keeping each other company. If you looked at them, right. It just looks like they can do literally nothing. They can sit down and look at paint on the wall and it seems like they're bonding. Right. So that that's that's what me like. They're more than just company. And I'm, I'm so glad that Laura said that, because to me, it just explains their connection from the very beginning. Love is in the air. Love is everywhere. But no, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.